Hey, everybody. I'm Tom Barnes. This is Stories from the 78, where we get to talk about all things Chicago and beyond. And the 78 is the neighborhoods. And the particular neighborhood that I'm talking about today is Streeterville. And that's where I have my friend Felicia here to talk about all things Navy Pier and art installations and a really amazing experience that's happening this weekend. How are you? Well, first off, Tom, thank you so much for having me back. On your Absolutely. Show. You know, I appreciate that. Um, at Navy Pier, we do have a lot of free events and really exciting programs this upcoming March. So the first thing I really want to talk about is our solstice installation. It's really neat, very unique. It's actually an interactive art installation that we have on our South Dock. So for folks who are maybe not familiar with the wording South Dock and talk about Navy Pier, what's the visual they should be looking for? Because I think the, the visuals are really incredible. So once you see it, you're like, oh, that's it. Because this yeah. is something from Montreal that's been brought down here to Chicago, right? Yeah, absolutely. So Navy Pier, we have a North Dock, and that's primarily where you go to park. It's where our, our parking garages are located. But our South Dock is that interactive area where a lot of people who come on the pier just walk. It's completely free for you to come on the pier. Um, so there's no need to pay admission to be a part of this experience. But as you're walking along that South Dock, you're going to start to see these really unique doors that are set up. And you can walk in the doors, out of the doors. And then in the center, there's like a circular globe uh, that's on display. And you can able, you're able to play with it, turn it, make it move. That is our Solstice Interactive Art Installation. It's really a, a one of a kind experience that people can um, participate in. And it gives the guests the experience, excuse me, it gives guests the ability to make their own art by interacting with these doors. It lights up, it plays music, it plays sound, it reflects the different lights around it. Um, originally, it's based in Montreal, it's been mm -hmm. in 25 different countries. So we are so happy to have it here at Navy Pier. Yeah, and it's a great way to experience the pier itself because, I mean, the pier is a lot longer, I think, than people realize when you actually start walking on it, head all the way to the end where the grand ballroom is. And the view of the city is second to none from that area. I mean, it's a beautiful shot of the city, but getting uh, your family out to experience something and it's free, which is always the big thing, right? You know, you get get out, enjoy public art. And our city does such a great job of explaining that or showing it in different parts. This is one of the opportunities to do that. And there's also something else going on at Navy Pier that's really special. Why don't you talk about that? Yeah, so we do have the holy celebration that is presented by ComEd um, and it will take place this Saturday. So it is a one of a kind, very unique, very a beautiful celebration. We are so happy to have it here at Navy Pier. So Holi is also celebrating in India and other parts of the Middle East. Um, it is a time to celebrate spring. So you might have seen that um, powder throwing that people do. That's going to be a part of this experience. Holi is going to be completely free for anyone to come and attend. There's going to be guest speakers. There's going to be dancers, performers, singers, musicians. Um, there's also going to be um, that powder throwing that will take place at the end outside um, on our South Dock. So it's just a really big experience. People can come out and see Solstice this weekend and then stay for Holy and be a part of this wonderful experience. Yeah, and it's a great opportunity for families to just really go out and enjoy the city and also not have to spend a lot of money, which is also really great. I think uh, people forget that Chicago has such great art. A lot of it is free for you to go and experience. And just walking on Navy Pier, especially somebody with young kids, I'm sure just needs to get out of the house sometimes. This is a great opportunity to let them run around a little bit, have a good time and enjoy some art. And, and learn about different cultures or yeah. just celebrate your own culture if you are a part of that particular community, you know. Um, here at Navy Pier, we have 250 new programs and events every single year that we put on. So these are free programs that we have for people to come out and experience. And Solstice is a part of that programming as well as Holy. Now, Solstice is going to be March 1st all the way through April 17th. Mm -hmm. And then Holy will only take place this Saturday, but it's going to be a marvelous experience. So this Saturday, for sure, if you want to catch Holy, just because of the, it's only happening that one time. You miss it, you miss it. So yeah, wait till next year. 
<laughs> for sure. And for people who want more information on just parking and all that good stuff that at Navy Pier, because there's plenty of parking there. Uh, but all that information, is there a website people should go to? Yeah, of course, Tom, just head online to navypier.org. Um, so if you go online, you can see all about the maps, the parking, the Uber drop-offs. We also have more information on Solstice online and holding. Felicia Bolton, thank Bolton, like as in Michael. I know I said that last time. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you uh, very much for joining me today. We'll see you out at Navy Pier this weekend. Thank you.